Hey everybody, welcome back to Indicted TV. I'm your host, Negra. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Quick shout out to my sponsors, Royalty Honey. Keep it hard, guys. And if you don't want to be on my channel, and you want to stay home, make sure you hire attorney Rosenberg. On today's episode, we have Genesis. Welcome to Indicted TV. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. So tell me, uh, where are you from? Where, like, meaning, like, where did you grow up? Your mom and dad? How was the inside of your house? Brothers, okay. sisters, things like that. Okay, so um, I grew up in the southeast LA district of Whittier. Okay. Um, uh, my parents, I'm the last of five, five children. So you're the youngest. Yes. Um, my mom is from, she grew up in like the South Central District from Florence, Florence area. Okay. My dad grew up in the Hazard Projects. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the baby. So I grew up uh, getting picked on by, by my brothers and sisters, but it's strengthened me to be a little tough little shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you call yourself a tough little shit? Yeah. that's a good thing. No, you know yeah, saying? no, for sure. <laughs> no, but I'm I'm a controlled tough little shit. Like 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 I'm 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 quiet. I don't I might like to mind my own, but like if somebody like touches the kettle, it will burn them. Like no, it'll most burn. definitely, I get it, I get it. Um, so. Were your parents together? Yeah, I grew up um, when uh, my my mom and dad have been together for almost thirty years oh, now. Oh, they're still together. Oh, nice. Still together. Still together. Nice. Um, my mom, she um, she actually gave her life to the Lord in nineteen eighty two when she had her first kids. Oh wow! That That's was from her. That was that was from like her. Pre, 40, that was from that was like over forty years ago because I was born in eighty <laughs> two. No, okay, so you're my brother's agent. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that was with her first her first marriage, and then um, it was us. So I have two: my brother and my sister, the oldest. Um, they're from her first, first. husband. First mm -hmm. husband. So me, my other brothers, and my dad's daughter are from my dad. Got it. Got so, it. So. It's just normal, you know. It's, it happens. It yeah, but they, work, but they, but they, but they been, but they been together. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no shame in my game. No, nah. you know, my nah. kids are sixteen years apart. Like, so, so that's that's why I guess like growing, no matter what, growing through up through my seeing my parents grow that strong, I'm I like I like I really envy that. Yes, I really envy that. That's so, good. Yeah, because I mean that's that's something that I feel like every person. Like we we know we're born to be with each other, man and female. Yeah. And we crave that. We crave that. We need that in yeah. our lives to be stable. Like, you know, now we live in the era where it's like, um, oh, you know, I'm the one. I'm, you know, I make this amount. Fuck of money. my baby daddy. Ex Fuck my. And it's just, you know, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, no, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no, the, the generation that they're in it's, now, it's, it's... It's completely different. Yeah, no. The, okay, so tell me, uh, did you go to junior high? Did you graduate so, high school? What, at what age did you see yourself being already like a little troublemaker? Because okay. you're obviously on Indicted TV. <laughs> no, you know what okay, I'm so um, I actually went to Monta Vista in Whittier when I was in sixth grade. And then from there, I was, I was, I would get into trouble. I had like a bu little bully incident. I took a knife to school. Oh, I got arrested. Oh, so I got arrested. I got, a, I, I got arrested in sixth grade. <gasps> and then I took the knife. I was ready, to, uh, whatever. Wait, what is rewind? So you were getting bullied? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Super sucks. No, it's no, nobody likes to get bullied. No. No. And especially because I was, real, I was small. I was, I was small. I was small, but I'm, a, I'm like, I have a crazy temper. I mean, uh, you know, most small guys have like, <laughs> It's called short man syndrome. Short man syndrome. <laughs> I'm glad you said it because I did not want to say it. <laughs> okay, so you were getting bullied and you took a knife to school. I took a knife to school because it was more than more than one individual for sure. So, like, I took a knife and um, the cop, the school cop was there. He saw me going up after school and he followed me and, and I went to jail. My mom picked me up the next day. Wait, how was your first time? Because you went to Los Padrinos or something? Yeah, I went to Los Padrinos. Um, how was that little incident for you? Like, It was normal. It was normal. All they asked, hey, you, you bang on me? You bang? No, I... I, I, and, I don't, and Trust me, back then, I, you would not, I would not look like... I would not fit in that category. I had spiky hair, glasses on. Like, I was a straight, I was a straight nerd. So, oh, like yeah, no, and, and, and then you don't bang. No, I don't bang. Yeah, I don't bang. You know, you just you're just you. Yeah, you're just you, and you were getting bullied, and you're just trying to protect yourself from these mean boys. Yeah, that were trying to take advantage of you because you're small. Yeah, just little mean people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no. So so um, I would. My mom got me into karate. She got me into like little after school activities to keep me busy. Um, I was in choir, um, all that stuff, and she also got me into uh after school like extras into background background extras for tv oh, what is that yeah so so i was in like iCarly Nickelodeon all those little channels and stuff i mean how cool is that yeah. i love iCarly yeah it's cool it's a cool cool little gig i mean they're paying me like you know what some 
best part that your family, your mom was doing these mm-hmm. things with you. Like, so it's not like uh, that's she. I was. I'm considering my mom's role dog because I was the baby. Like all the kids are growing up. Mm-hmm. I'm the only one that really want to kick with my mom. I yeah. like, I, you know. So, um, it it was it was cool. Yeah, that's, that honestly, that's amazing because you don't. I don't know anymore. Like, I barely even want to take my kid. Everybody's like, "Hey, you should take your son to because he's so cute." And I'm like, yeah. "It's too much." No, so my mom. My mom would. My mom would be with all the kids. We'll be going to Ranging Waters. She'll be doing all the fun activities. Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland. So She's doing as much. As, yeah, yeah. I, 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 my mom. My mom would make the best of it. She would try to make it work. Nice. So she. Nice. She. Uh, she was a, a drug and alcohol counselor for at risk youth. Uh-huh. Um, and then That's she, good. yeah, she was working close with like probation for the people in like the Artesia area. Okay. So she, she, she grew up when the, um, Hawaiian gardens, when they killed that cop, when they, when they killed the cop, uh, at the school or mm-hmm. whatever it was, um, she was like in that conflict over there. Yeah, oh, so. wow. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, so you went to juvenile hall <laughs> for taking a knife to yeah. school because you were trying to protect yourself. Um, when you got there to juvenile hall, how did you feel? I don't even mean like people banging on you. I just mean like you. Like, were you afraid? Like- um, honestly, I was just like, damn, this sucks. I can't play no video games. Like, I, I, I like to play video games after school. So I'm like, man, this this sucks. I mean, they game. They have they have the little cot. They got the bed. I'm. I saw it. Like, okay, yeah. okay it's not. So you were just there when they yeah, said. yeah. It wasn't like, oh my god, I I gotta get it right. Like, I, I didn't go in there crying. Like, I was just like, whatever. Like, like, I'll wait till someone picks some, yeah, something's gonna happen. Yeah, something's yeah. Something's gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna get out. Like, yeah, whatever. So my mom came and got me. And trip out, the same deputy that arrested me on that case is the same deputy that arrested me when I was 18. Same, yeah, yeah. Years after. Years later. Because you didn't from get in six, trouble. Yeah, from sixth grade. No, no, I was. I was still getting in trouble. So from after sixth grade, like middle school area, I was still like, I, was, I wasn't I was considered like the dude that liked to go to sports or like, I would be like the little travieso. Like I'd be going around with my friends, smoking weed, weed. kicking it. And um, that's how people knew me, like, oh, Bring bring Gabriel along. He's in. They, well, they'll no, be like, yeah. Bring school. Gabriel around. He like he likes to sing. So ah, yeah, I'll be singing. Always yeah. been a singer. Always been a singer. My my mom is very. My mama is a very talented singer. And then my sister sings for like a Christian famous Christian group called Hill Songs. Nice. So um, it's it. I'm musically inclined. How cool is yeah, that? So. So um, from then bring on, bring Gabriel because Gabriel likes to sing. Yeah, yeah, bring Gabriel. Gabriel likes to sing, and um, and then that's how it was. I'll just get in some trouble, be skipping school, but I'll get caught up and have to go like to the after school classes, and then they eventually put me in um, that class where all the bad kids are. The opportunity room, mm-hmm. opportunity room. From there, um, I got kicked out. Went to got sent to Franklin. Franklin's continued the continuation school, um, and then from there. I went, started this high school. This is in Whittier. Yeah, this is in Whittier. Okay. In Whittier. Um, and then from there, I went to Cal High. Cal High, I think I made it a month, a month, two months, and then I got I got into a fight, and I got sent to Frontier. Frontier. Which so is a, like a continuation. It's another continuation. Okay. It's the high school. So I went to Franklin. Franklin was, was the um, middle school continuation. Okay. And then got Frontier it. is the high school continuation school. Got it, got it, got so, it. So... Um, I went there and man, I did well enough to go back. Got into trouble again, and then went, got sent to. And you're getting in trouble because you're just like smoking weed and not going to no. class, or like you're carrying like. <clears throat> not even just not paying. Not, I was I pay attention. I, There's certain subjects that I liked. I liked my my English. I liked um, history. Um, I hated math. I would. That's the one I would get kicked out the most, and that one in science. I get it. Yeah. I don't like math. Either. I like I like PE too, you know. But so you were just basically getting in trouble because you just weren't getting your you just because of school, yeah, basically because of school, not basic, because basic. you were out there causing chaos. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no chaos. No but, chaos. And then um, I started getting into. Uh, I, I got I got caught up for. So you know, like back, you know, the Xbox three sixties. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know they used to have those hard drives, those those like hundred and fifty dollar hard drives. You'd have to put on top of it to make it work. I think so. So I came up with like a little scheme, on like with a couple friends, like how to get like some money. You want some money for some money to get some stuff? Say what you're saying. Yeah. So so <laughs> no. So 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 I I got like a box cutter, and they had them in those containers, and so I went. We will go to Walmart and okay. um, cut the side, cut the side, cut the bottom, slip it out. Bam, the next one we'll grab it and we bam, we got like three hundred dollars right here. So I got caught up for that. That's what you went to jail for. Yeah, that's what I went to jail for. And then my mom decided not to pick me up. She she what decided yeah. She said you're gonna learn. Uh-huh. She said you're gonna learn. So she decided not to pick me up. Um from there I went to um then I don't know why the judge considered it super horrible. Maybe how because how much product I took. Um they sent me to a placement. 
up north. So you were, this is like, you knew. Like, now, now I was in Los Pajinos. Now I was in Los Pajinos. I got sent to, to Central, East Lake while I was, I was over there. And, and how was those little experiences for you since you weren't a gang member? It was, it was. You, you did it, did you fight? I, yeah, we locked legs. I locked legs. With oh, people. Shit. Yeah, no, for sure, for because sure. Because fools would try to punch Yeah, no, nah, just, just because like, like people try to carry themselves like, like super hard walking around the, 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 the day room super hard, like. Bro, there's there's no need for that, bro. Yeah. Like, no one's in here intimidating nobody. No one's doing any of that. So why is the need to bring any of that? Oh, so you would just get down with them? Yeah, if they, if they, if they, if they wanted to. If they, if wanted, they wanted to. to. I'm not going to press the issue, but if somebody has an issue, we then can, we can, we can, yeah, we can do it. Oh, so you did get from okay. fights. Yeah. Okay. Couple. You said a couple. Couple. <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's, it, it's cool because I never got the experience of like, like getting pepper sprayed, like. Like it didn't never got that crazy because well, I would, I'd want to keep it on I'd want to keep it on the low like I'm not let's go to the bathroom let's not make a scene in yeah the of course so that's it was never like that bad. yeah no never okay. bad never bad so then you got sent to this placement up north it was called rites of passage oh. rites of passage is like not your average placement out here they have Penny Lane they got um they got all these other ones that that people really go to like all the regular placements this one was like a program placement like you have to hit your pivots like they like a boot camp type of thing it was all the way in the mountains by uh, modesto okay so we're three miles away from the nearest town up on a mountain so they wouldn't you can't go nowhere you're stuck up there so if you try to run away you're gonna get lost you're stuck in the yeah you're stuck in the woods yeah so i was there i did semi okay program but after a year, they sent me back to LP because I failed to complete the program for their Why standards. Why would you do? I just, um, I never upgraded to the RAM, whatever the, it's, it's, It's yeah. like the levels and shit? The levels of, of like telling other people what to do. So what they would do is you'd have for two weeks when you get there, you have to get through orientation. Orientation is sitting, when they say backs, backs off, you have to keep your back straight off of the back, backs off backs. And then relax. For like hours. Yeah, for, for hour, however long they say, you got to do it like that. And then if they say relax, okay, relax, okay. But if you're not in that position, like they'll you, you they'll give you a it's rating. Super structured. Super, super structured. So at the end of the day, they give you a rating, a dot. The green dot, yellow dot, red dot. Green dot is good. Yellow dot is mm. you did okay. Red dot is you you're so. Red dot so okay. at at seven at after two weeks, they evaluate you to see like if you had enough dots. I never made it past. I never. Oh, I never made it past no. the dots. I never made it past like my my levels didn't acquire enough to make me up to a, a intern or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I just kept getting into trouble. Like, I mean, yeah, just, you're just not freaking listening, bro. No, you wasn't listening. We listening to him. I wasn't listening to him. And like, it was just little things. Like, I, I was, I was, I was a, I was a little shit. I was a little shit. Yeah, you just uh, I could, I could have listened. I could have listened. Yeah. You know, but like, if they didn't, if they didn't like how you were performing, they would put hands on. It was a hands on placement. Oh shit! So they, they would restrain you? you. They would restrain you. I'm talking restrain, like, like put your arms behind your back and lift you like this. And, and, and they would have you another another uh, uh, staff you. on your legs, so you so you're stretched out and push on on your back. So fighting up there, like you fight, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get Fuck you're up. gonna get folded into a chair. So I I I got into a couple fights where they where they folded me up, like yeah. Oh my and, and it's crazy because there's a lot of conflict because that's where they send northern the northerners and southerners. Modesto, they'll they'll send little mm-hmm. dudes with their freaking hair all long. Freaking have four dots on their eyes and stuff, you know. But I, I was there was there was it. But there was other kids from down. And here. also, crazy thing is, in order to make it past the program, you had to be like really buddy buddy with these guys. Like no game, like no game banging. Like like no, I you had to cooperate with them. They make them your roommate, and you guys had to get on because you have to show that you're improving. So they they try to force this upon you. So like me, like I just wouldn't get along with some people. Or like and you so, just didn't want to fold. Yeah. You weren't folding. Yeah, I fucked up. I fucked, I fucked up. I fucked I mean, up. It because like, because it it is you can make a, the program a six month program if you do all your shit, get your RAM, you can get out of there. But I made it into a twelve month program and I got sent back to Los Pajinos because I failed. From there, I was already, I was already seventeen, seventeen, almost gonna be eighteen. They didn't want to release me, so they sent me to Penny Lane. I went to Penny Lane. Where's Penny Lane at? Penny Lane is in the I think it's in the valley. In the valley, yeah, it's an eight one eight. 
And what about Penny Lane? Penny what is Lane, Penny Lane? It's like a boys and girls facility. Oh, shit, even worse. Because now you actually, got the girls. It was, it was actually pretty good. Oh, no. Cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool. No, because, because no, well, the good thing is I took advantage while I was in, in, in the system. I did my schoolwork. Okay. I would turn in my packets and they tell me like you grad you you do all your credits in the in, in this in, in here in juvenile hall. You, you your- don't gotta do no freaking senior project. You ain't gotta do nothing. They give you credits like nothing. No, so, for sure. So I made sure I took advantage of it and and got my stuff done. So I graduated before I left there. From Penny Lane. From no from uh Rites of Passage. Mm. So that was one good thing. Like while I was still in the the like not finishing my program, every day I would do my work. You were doing you were doing your schoolwork, which was I wanted good. to get my high school diploma. And you got it. Yeah, I got my high school diploma. In so there. tell me more about Penny Lane. Penny Lane is, um, it's a boy and girls uh, divided spot that they call sat houses. So there's sat one, sat two is a guy house, sat three, but they're all in like different areas. But um, there is the main building, which is all female building. They would have like little events. This is where I would, I would like show off my talent too. Like, cause they had Ah, little... <laughs> you're going to sing. <laughs> no, yeah. Like I, I would, I, I uh, they had talent night. So they had a couple people come up and I just sang some, uh, sang some music for people. FYI guys, Genesis is a singer. Yeah. Like, it may not sound like it, but I'm, I'll get, we, I get we're that. Gonna, we're we're going to, you guys are going to hear them. Don't I, worry. I serenade. I can serenade. I, <laughs> I serenade. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, from there, um, it, it's, it was a cool little placement. Um, I actually ran. I, I met some girl named Valerie in there. Like she was freaking like hot. You she was like hot. She Valerie. Was, she was hot. She was hot. I didn't have to go to school, so I would go into the the main at the main building across the street is a library. She would go in there to do her work every day. So like she would be on YouTube putting the MP3 to put music on her iPod. So I'd be putting her on. Like, oh, she'd be listening. She was listening to some uh, um, freaking uh, Dr. Dre. Like what like, year was this? It's like two thousand and. 14 14 I want to say 14 okay 13 like it was it was a while ago okay so um I'm 29 by the way almost 30 almost 30 30 you definitely look younger yeah prison preserves I know prison preserve <laughs> prison preserve <laughs> <laughs> so um from there um I finished penny lane I, I turned 18 I turned 18 they had to release me okay so I got out went back to Whittier to your mom's to my mom's um, and she was an apartment manager now. Her and my dad are apartment managing um, off of Mulberry, um, across the street from Cal High. Okay. So Cal High is like right there. It was Mulberry Mill, so it's kind of known. So, um, I, I I I was I was still a, I was still an idiot. Yeah. So I started selling weed. And from um, the apartment. I was starting, not not like out of their apartment. I would keep my stuff like stashed. Yeah. I wouldn't. I would never take my stuff inside my mom's pad. Okay. Never. She was that mom that always told like my friends like, hey, if you have anything on you, like. Keep it outside my house, please. Like I'll put it away for you. I'll give it to you after. I don't care what it is. I'll, I'll give it to you it back. To Just house, don't bring yeah. it into my house, please. So she was cool like that. So um, yeah. So so uh, I I was started selling weed, and there were certain individuals that didn't like me selling the weed. Obviously. So they would try to use their little position and power to oh you're in my area, like it's not gonna happen. So me you I'm, were selling that much. I was selling ounces, like a good ounces, because I lived across the street from the school, the high school. You're selling to the high schoolers. Yeah, yeah. Sick as fuck. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm 18, and I'm, yeah, I wasn't that, f- I wasn't yeah. that, f- I'm not f- like 30 something yeah. high school. No, you know? I get it, I So get I'm it. like, sure. I have all my Thanks homies. Thanks for clarifying little, that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. I have all my homies, like little brothers and shit, like they want to get like a gram, two grams, and I'd have them all like meet me at certain times. So um, I had, I had, I had, a, I had, caught, had caught another case. This is the time that the deputy from sixth grade arrested me. Okay. Um, I was on my way because classes at Cal High, they start like in early in the mornings. So um, they start, like I went to go make my little drop-offs at like 7, 7.30. So I went to 7-Eleven to get uh, hot chocolate. I want some, I like some hot chocolate. I guess somebody said that they saw an imprint in my back of my pants. <sighs> so... Uh, they called the cop that worked at Cal High. Oh, no. <laughs> the cop that him. worked at Cal High was the same cop that arrested me at that time. So I'm right there getting my hot chocolate. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready waiting for the kids to come. And then, bam, like, oh, I see the police. Right out. And he's like, he don't even freaking put his foot on the brake. Like, he like, don't move. Gabriel already has his gun out. And, like, you, I'm like, damn, if he would have not, like, put his foot on the brake, he would have, like, literally just kept going like that. This dude's tall. This dude is tall, like six six, like the tallest. Like people know, people know this cop right there. Like yeah. if you went to to Cal High or any of these schools out there, you know, you know what deputy I'm talking about. 
So um, he had his gun on me. He said, don't move, Gabriel. And I'm like, oh, shit. So he comes over and starts putting the gun away, has his hand on my shoulder. I'm like, fuck. So I turn around try to run. Oh, no. And my thing falls out. My, my, gun, my gun falls out. And uh, he reaches out and grabs me. He reaches out. He's big. He's a big dude. And I was like, I think I was like five, five, five at the time, like five, 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 six, probably. I was still growing. I was still growing. You're 18. So he You're reaches out, growing. he reaches out and grabs me. It was big. And uh, he gets me like a bear hug and we struggle and we both fall on the floor. Motherfucker falls on top of me and we're like struggling. He tries reaching for his radio to call backup and I'm pushing that shit away. And then someone comes, like, I guess like a good citizen comes and uh, sits on my legs until the rest of the cops show up. It's like helicopters show up. All kinds of Everything chaos. Everything shows up. So I got caught for uh, possession and uh, concealed okay. firearm. Got it. So, and that's what you went to the county for the first time. Yes. Tell me about your experience in the county for the first time. <laughs> Man, um, honestly, I was like, I, I was already really kind of like tapping, not, not tapping in, like writing, taking my music that seriously, but I knew I had a voice. So like, I love to do my music. So... In there, I was like, man, how can I, how can I position this in a way where, like, I could get cool with people and, you know, like, like, do my own thing and, like, but still be in people's area without bugging anybody, without having to do too much. So, um, I, I'm cool with everybody. I don't have beef with nobody. I don't gang bang. You ask me my name, anything like that. Hey, come check in. Okay, what's up? Here's my name. I checked in. You did what you had to do. I did what I had to do. Because you have to. Yeah, but other than that, like, they give simple rules, work out. They have simple uh, requirements that normal people should live by. Because if people did, they would probably have a structured life. I mean, these 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 rules that are there aren't there to break anybody. You know, like they're there to to get you on your shit. So like, if they have a homie who comes in all slammed back and fucking yeah, so off right. that shit, or, or or you know, they're gonna give him his little time to to get up. But then they're gonna be like, hey homie, you know, wake up, shake them sheets. What's up? Like, what are you gonna do today to be productive? Work out your body because they like to keep them like warriors. So well, we, that's what we should be. We are warriors. We, we are warriors. Like just sure. in general, even out here, like we need to get up and get oh. our shit together. Homie, did you work out today? Come on, I, mean, I, I I I like to get my little workouts in the morning still. So like, I go for my little walks. I go. I do my little push up sets in the morning. So fitness is is still a good part of me that I brought back with. Which me. is great. So, yeah. So. So you're in the county. You're programming. Programming. Um and like. People knew me as radio. They, 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 They're yeah. probably like, hey, homie, radio hey, that. Hey, homie, radio. <laughs> that homie's mean- about to sing right now. I'll be on the tier. Like, like I'll be on the tier. And then, like, they'll be like, hey, homie, crack that shit. So I'll do some shit. Did me. they ever tell you, like, hey, okay, stop singing already? Okay. Honestly, no. Oh, nice. No, nah, some, some homies didn't didn't like it because of some of the songs. But, like, like it, but it wasn't their choice. Like, I would let other people choose. And then, like, they would... They would approve it, yeah. Yeah, okay, it. okay, so, okay. Like, I didn't see no, nothing inappropriate, you know? Like, um, I just sung, like, Nate Dogg, Keith Sweat, Avant. Like, you know, like, that shit that has these fools missing their girls. Like, I even had homies have me call their girls up on the phone. Like, How like, cute is yeah. that? Like, hey, homie, it's my girl's birthday. Like, can you sing for her? I got you on a spread later. I got you on a burrito. Aww. Like, fuck yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Like, man, shoot it. So I'll go sing for the girl. Bam. And then, like, he'll get back on. He'll come back. Damn, homie. No one's made my hyena cry like that since I beat on her, dog. You know, like damn. No, 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 but but then I'll be just like, man, you made my you made my girl cry, dog. Like so, like yeah, so that was cute. Yeah, it was cool. So you, what happened? You got what happened that you got sentenced? I got I got sentenced to sixteen and a half. Sixteen years? No, sixteen months. Oh, I was like, damn. Sixteen and a half. So that's uh, uh, you get to do it in the county because it's not over a certain time. This is when all the laws in 2014, 15, when all the laws were changing. Okay. um, Where like you get caught with marijuana now, like it's not a big charge. For sure, for sure. A gun is if like it's um, however their stipulations are. Yeah. It's it's different. So. They gave me 16 and a half. I didn't get no strikes. Nothing. So you were just at, at in the county. I was in the county. What would you say was the craziest thing you saw in the county? The craziest thing I saw was a riot. You experienced yeah, a one? A riot with the cops. So you went through one? On the 5300 floor. Oh. 5300 How did you floor. feel? It was crazy because it was ladies night. Ladies night is, is when it's hot dog night. Okay, so like we like we get hamburgers. We have we have we have we have certain like names for a menu. We got uh, uh sloppy joes, different different menus. So it was ladies' night. It was a Friday. Um, basically, when the cops come in to serve chow, 
you have to have your shoes off and they are in the house. You have to be on your, on facing in your front bunk mm-hmm. and laid in front. So legs crossed, however they say it. I guess one of the police, and they, they announced it, like they, they announced it, they let them know that we're coming in. So be like, shoes off, homies, get on your bunks, rack it up. And everybody's like that. So I guess the, one of the cops that came in didn't like how one of the homies was laying on his bunk. So he said, he said, hey, get off your bunk. And so he got off his bunk and the cop like tried to guess aggressively to put his hands on him to turn him around and his foot hit the wall and he turned around and f- he hit the cop oh. he socked the cop that was it right there that was it that was it this cop backed up like this fool saw he popped me he this fool really popped me looking at his partners and uh everybody just started sitting up like looking at each other like oh and wow. homies were like shoes on homies and it just went up from there it went up like the Crazy. cop yeah i just seen ladies night going up like people were getting hit fucking i saw i saw one of the lady officers get hit with like three sausages straight Damn. to her face she got hit with a milk carton no the milk carton ex- <laughs> one of the milk carton exploded on her chest like it was crazy and then um so they all cleared out with the cops and we're still going at it because they were you know they're about to come in and fuck it up so yeah the uh, the brothers the others and all the other races they start packing up their shit and they start taking it to the shower room they take it to the shower room because to, like, keep it in, safe? The five, in, in the five in the yeah because in the five thousand floor i don't know if you're in, like in the county jail it's a big um big ass dorm and then to the side is the showers so they i mean i've they, been to the county but not the yeah, men the, obviously so it's just so um the showers are right there to the left. So they everybody started packing up their shit. They're like, man, I got to pack up all my shit. They're packing up their shit and they're taking it to the showers because they're going to start pepper spraying. They're going to start doing all that bad. shit. Everything's going to get bad. Their mail, their pictures of their family, their yeah. kids is going to get fucked up. So um, they came. First, they got everybody out. So what they did was like they made like a little... Uh, cave and tunnel with their barriers like they're those those are shields yes and they blocked it from the door where it comes in to the shower room so it can get all the other inmates who aren't mexican get them out so they got them all out in that little barrier so they could be safe so they could be safe so after oh. that after that it's just the mexicans left so bam a bomb goes off and like freaking uh, uh paintball hits me but it's a pepper spray paintball and yeah, this is where I start getting pepper spray. Oh my god, it was. You it were was, asking for it. it. Was whole, no, I wasn't asking for it. I wasn't asking for <laughs> when it. When you were a teen, you were. <laughs> no, so so um so yeah, it it, it was crazy because like it was just all bad because like now after like when it all went down, like they just firing every pepper sprays going all over. Super intense. Those bombs are going there. Start shooting people with the paintball guns, and I'm getting up like it, it hurts so like i covered myself with my blanket try to look as much as like with cover my face it was bad so eventually they start taking us out like they they took us out they took us out when the cops came for me i'm not gonna what's up like i'm not gonna go all fucking rowdy like, you're like, i'm like okay you got me you no, got me no, you get, you, 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 <laughs> good round good round no, no, no. You, you did what you have to do you did what i participated yeah so so um they took us all down to the hole and I was supposed to be getting out. I was getting out. This, this was the weekend I was getting out. <sighs> this is the weekend that I was... I, and they let me out from the hole. Oh, they, they let me out from the hole because I guess what they do is they review the footage. So, like, me, I guess they didn't have footage of me breaking or damaging anything, doing too much. Uh-huh. So, um, I got released from the hole from there. Okay. So, um, I honestly didn't think I was going to get out. I didn't think I was going to get out. So, you got out? I got out. And then what happened? Um... Man, what happened then was just like I, <laughs> I kept, I guess you could say. I, I mean, I, I was because you were on probation. I was obviously, on, uh, no, no, I wasn't even on probation. Oh no, nothing. I got off with with uh, in informal probation. Okay, so I didn't have to report nothing, nothing like that. So, um, I was basically clear to go. I was cool, and I, man, that shit, it was it was crazy because that experience right there, I would have thought that, like, fuck, I just got into a riot. Like, I almost thought that I wasn't going to get out. You would think that it's going to be like, oh, man, I don't want to go back there. Like, you know, and I was like, man, I don't want to go back there. I, I don't. We never want to No, go no, back no there. one wants to go back there. So I get out, and I'm back at my, my mom and dad's spot, and this is when, like, during those little high school phases when I started, like, getting into trouble, like, my, 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 
persona kind of changed. Like I started like flirting a little more. I was I wasn't a flirty boy back. And like in middle school and high school, I wasn't I wouldn't flirt because I was always in trouble. So I never went to proms. I never went out with females. I never did none of that. I I didn't lose my virginity till I was eighteen. Oh wow! I didn't lose my virginity till I was eighteen. That's when I got out of county. After that, because you thought you were yeah. I was like I just got into a riot and, and I posted it on Facebook and, and yeah, it was crazy. It was and crazy. you had all the girls hitting you it was up. Crazy, really. It was crazy. Yeah, like, I, and I wasn't even big, you know, but I just, you like, I'm, fresh, you I'm fresh, out of, fresh out of county, you know, and like, it's crazy because like, there are, there are certain people that are attracted to that and it's, and it's wild. Like, I'm, I'm not even, a, I'm not even a gang, I'm not even a gang member or nothing like, but she's still like, oh, the county, fucking like, whatever. So, um, but it was, it's nothing to be memorable about. A, yeah. So, <laughs> um, from, so you lost your, you lost your virginity when you got out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and people, people you know people people clown on it but I don't it's really okay. care hey honestly hey. I hey I don't mind because like honestly I believe in sexual energy those people that you connect with the more people that you connect with it's going to be harder for you to bond with the next person yes. because all the people that you've connected with all their 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 um nastiness. Their, their nastiness is, is is it's still instilled on you it's still on you because there's such thing as soul ties no makes. I agree so so yeah so I um did that and I was still I guess I, I, I loved my music so I found out that like man my voice is kind of like it's, it's good that i can go i, I can sing and it's pull, good. pull some females I, yeah. some, I have some i have some talent so i had people would tell me bro you need to get in the studio so um i started going to the studio um but i knew it costed money i wasn't really working a job i would get my little warehouse jobs and shit but i would get fired or because it smelled like weed or but some you know, dumb shit, some dumb shit. yeah yeah so so dumb shit <laughs> so um yeah, it, it 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 was it was crazy because like when when I had got out from county that time I was just like man you know I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue my talent because I mean, homies knew me as radio and they're like hey fool you need to go and that's where I kind of got my my first initial push that like man people like even not even I thought it was man I just do I'm a singer I'm a singer I was just thinking oh it's gonna just be a female crowd that I attract to but like bro when I went in the county I'm singing these freaking Nate Dog songs these old school R and B songs. Homies are feeling it. They're like, dog, I haven't heard this. I haven't heard a song in like 15 years, 10 Aww. years. And it's cool so because I see it. Yeah, so it's cool seeing that I could bring a little spark to people, like like knowing that. So I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it. But me being the knucklehead that I am, I should have prioritized like, okay, like I got to get this structure schedule. I got to go work. Then I can do studio. But me, I was just like, bro, like I'm, I'm an R&B singer. Like I wasn't really, I had like, I guess you could say like, I can make good music, but I had like writer's block because... All these rappers are out here rapping about shit that is sometimes maybe not, it's sometimes fictional. It's not true. Uh -huh. So, like, I felt like, okay, like, I got to go to the studio. Like, I, I would f*** up. I, I, um, I needed to get the money for it. So, I got caught up again for f residential burglaries. I was doing So, that's up. what you got busted for. <laughs> no, like that's what for. I went, yeah, that's what I got. No, 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 no. That's, I got, I got for, for, oh, no, actually, no. I stood out until I was 22. From from 18, I didn't go back to jail until since they, when you since they, when you were 18. Since I was 18, from 18, so I okay. stayed out and, and I was doing my little music thing. I performed, opened up for some people, and um, eventually it caught, I got I got caught up because you needed money. Some, I needed money for some studio time, you know, and uh, I got caught up for uh, 12 counts of residential burglary. So they counted each spot as its own house which so, is true right which is true which is true because it's it's a place of inhabited dwelling so um yeah it, it's it's probably it's, it's, and, it, and it was in orange county too it wasn't in la county it wasn't in la county so you get arrested for these burglaries how did that go um <laughs> it, it, i fought it for a long time no like how did you actually get caught oh okay um so me i fucked up because i am usually a character of habit uh like i i slipped out of my habit and i got caught slipping um i guess the brea pd caught my tags at a 7-eleven when i had to get away from a confrontation um so they followed me they didn't follow me but like two or three weeks later they came to my mom and dad's pad again and they raided my mom and dad's pad i wasn't there though uh -huh. i was not there um and yeah, it was it was it was crazy. Oh, also, I was actually fighting uh, before that case that I had caught, uh, or uh, before this this one, the residential burglary. I had caught another one. I had caught another one, but it got uh, DA reject. 
it was for it was for like it was for uh 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 some dumb shit that happened in the city i had got caught up for took they took me to the police station whatever they let you go let me go let me go and so then, now you're let's just move so now you're fighting this burglary case for man, 12 you, for 12 different 12 counts and each each count carries 25 alive while you're fighting your case if you unless you have a lawyer they're gonna push the paperwork quick I knew I was probably gonna sit in there because my mom, my mom and my dad, you know, like they they support me. They they were there for, they were there for me. But as far as um, getting a lawyer, they had, they had got me a lawyer for the first the one that I got out for the mm-hmm. one that I the one that the guy did reject. Yeah. Um. So um. They were kind of just like you know some you made you kind of made your bed you gotta learn from this. Mm-hmm. So they, I was fighting. I was stood in there. I stood in there for three years and nine months. Wait, so you fought your case for three years and nine months and nine months for the burglary in the county in the county in Orange County Orange County. How was that for you? Um, I didn't really like it too much, honestly. I mean, oh, you're not supposed uh, to. No, but I'm saying no. like. What was it, like? So it obviously, was different from the L.A. County because you did a whole year. Oh, it's year. way different. Way different. Tell us. Okay, honestly, and then it's not just because I'm an L.A. cat. I feel like Orange County. They know that L.A. County is like the play area where everything's at, so they try to have a really, really strict program over there, and like just they have young cats running the dorm that never been nowhere, like that. Just that. Just people are getting into shit, like. I, I knew that, like, even before I went went in for that, when I was in for the 16 and a half, like, I knew the breakdown of, like, what homies are, aren't supposed to and supposed to not do. So, not seeing that these youngsters that haven't no been any, haven't went anywhere, and these are the fools that are holding the dorm because they know someone, it's just turning into a shit storm because, oh. like, these are these are the, the standards that we're setting for people. Like, we're letting homies observe this on how this guy's carrying himself, you know, so... It, it it was it was it was crazy. It's just like it was different, real different. So I just I really I just stayed out the way. I stayed out the way. I did my my workouts. I sung I sung my music on the phone, <laughs> um, and I just I bided my time. I like to write my letters. I I keep quiet. I write my music. Um, so that's how you always done your yeah, time. That's how I do my time. So when you guys you guys so you after you were fighting your case for these three years, what did you get? How long did you get sentenced to? So after three years nine months, they had sentenced me to. Six years, six years with 85. Okay, so but you already did the three, I already did three years, nine months. Okay, so what happened was this was when the time when I took the deal, COVID, it's COVID, so it was like it was all all, all, all starting to, yeah, it was all starting to fuck up because I got busted in 2018. Okay, yeah, so, like so it was like COVID, like, yeah, COVID. Yeah, COVID was there. Oh, wow. So, so, and in the prisons, like in the county, it was crazy because all movement was locked down. So what is the difference between the county, L.A. County Jail and the Orange County where you're at? Oh, man. L.A. is more trenches. Trenches. I'm sorry. Like Orange County, Orange County, they have their nice. They're, they're nice. They're nice compared to, compared to L.A. standards. Okay. For sure. For the way sure. it looks, the way it yeah, smells, yeah, the way everything. Yeah. The cops are more dicks, though. Honestly. The L.A. cops, they have a little bit more, like a little more. They know where they're at. Orange County cops are like assholes. That's their house. They're assholes. Like you're the dog shit of this earth like i have my homies right here orange county pd that will help me out like they're all behind there so ah yeah, so it's crazy okay it's crazy okay but at me thinking while i'm doing committing these crimes i'm like oh it's orange county it's a white people neighborhood like there's no problem but f- that like hell no that's the worst thing that i could have did that's the worst thing i could have did <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing i could have did get caught up in orange county yeah so um i have no lawyer i'm fighting my case and i actually got a lawyer during the time and um, my parents paid, and and he didn't. He lost his license. He lost his license while we're fighting my <gasps> case. So he was my lawyer. He was a Jew. He was Jewish. And my parents, my dad and my mom, they observed the they observed the Torah. So they trusted this guy to like help me out and everything, you know. So me and him had horrible communication. So he eventually just lost his license, and he said, "Okay, we got to we got it down to uh, uh we got it down to six years." Because first it started at thirty four. To life, then it went down to thirty. Then it went down to twenty five. Then twenty. Just the process of just yeah, going, within, within, the, within just the three years, just waiting it out. Yeah, Honestly, if you wait that shit out, they'll bring it down because like I didn't have no crazy ass record that's gonna send me away for a long ass time. Yeah. So I just chose to wait it out, and and it worked out. It worked out. It worked out in my favor. So like it was, it was cool. But the only thing that sucked was like the lockdown. Okay, so yeah, you're so telling me you got sentenced, and it's already, it's already. COVID, 
Because when you got arrested, it was 2018. It was, it was, it was no COVID. No COVID happened. Yeah, yeah and so nothing. COVID happened while you're in while the I county. Was busted, it was crazy. Tell me the crazy part. So, like, just, like, seeing people come in and, and that, like, it just watching the mask come around, I would notice that, like, people were trying to get sick because they're like they're, people would think like oh we're gonna get out if we get COVID like you get COVID like it's sick so <gasps> so foods that would try would be sick or like coughing like other people would try to like and in, get in, entangled with them <gasps> so they can get sick so they can think that it's gonna manipulate the system in some order to let them out on like an <gasps> OR because they're sick they got this death illness that's Killing them, so oh, let, them, let them out. Like let them know. No. Yeah, you got another thing coming. No, here's like a, here's, a, here's your own cell. Like here's that. your own cell. <laughs> That's it. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. So um we had to wear masks. We had like a. They just did a bunch of what stuff. What kind of mask did you guys get? The regular mask? Just the regular blue nurse mask. Okay. Yeah. That shit didn't help for shit, huh? Did you get sick? I never caught COVID. Never. I never caught it. Oh well, good for you. I didn't catch it. Yeah. No. Good for you. So then, tell me what. Tell me more. You get so sentenced, and when it, when you get it, and it was locked, and it was locked down. So uh-huh. I, I'm, I still sit there. I'm still sitting there. Like the buses are not moving. They're not doing no because there's no workers. There's no, no, no workers. They're not taking them to prison. Not doing none of that. <gasps> so finally, they tell us that we're gonna start getting the buses going, and I'm already like, f- I think it was. You're already on your fourth I'm year. Already, I'm already, I'm already there. I'm already on my fourth year. It was, and they tell me, okay, you're, you're gonna start going. I'm like, okay, cool. So with my credits, I'm like, I'm start talking to people in there, and like, I start, I'm a little stress box. I'm like, okay, like, how much longer am I gonna do? Like, how much? And I you were, you probably been there longer than a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Like I know, I knew a lot of people that were in there. We were fighting cases to get, like, everybody was there. Mm-hmm. So, um, they're just, bro, don't stress when you get up to prison. Then this is why I see why everybody goes into county and says, just send me up to prison, man. Like I'll take two years with half. They they sign it real quick because they don't want to wait in the county because first it is expensive as. Dollar twenty five for a soup? Yeah. A dollar twenty five for a soup. They cost thirty nine cents now out here. What do you mean? Yeah. At, at the at LA County? No, the store. I just mean oh, the store. Oh, oh, at the store. Okay, yeah. yeah. See, they, they used they to be make, like they make, their, they make their money. They make yeah. their LA County makes their money. Orange County makes their money. First, it was a uh, sixty cents. Now it's a dollar. Wow. I just went in for violation. So, um, <laughs> they they uh yeah it, it's it's crazy. They they be making their money. So. <laughs> You're getting, you get, so they tell you, hey, okay, it's time to roll it up, go. Buses are coming, um, you're going to be going, transfer. I'm like, okay, cool. And it was like, yeah, yeah, but be prepared to be on lockdown because like Wasco. And you had no idea what you were, oh, you you knew you were were, I know I was going to Wasco. I know I was going to go to Wasco. So they they say that uh, um, it's, you're going to be, expect to be stuck there. You're not going to see your counselor for like three, four months. Bro, I was stuck there. (laughs) I was stuck in that bitch. They were doing no movement because after that buzz, more reports of COVID were coming down. So they shut down all the. So you got to again. Wasco. I got to Wasco. And you just got put in the cell for months. Yeah, I just got put in the cell. Tell me the process of so getting transferred. The process was just basically what they would do was they would you would change out. They would have you change out. Um, put a mask on. They say if any, then when you go into, when you're shackled up with all your people that you're going, going, you, they still put you side by side. Like there, there was the six feet yeah. distance, but they have you with somebody. So um, they say, if you talk on this bus, like I will turn this bitch around or no music, like people f- up, like you have to use the restroom before you go. Cause you're stuck on that bus for, going hours. To for hours. So um, it was just like a, a people were just wearing masks. It was just all masked up. They had hoodies on us too. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Wow. Yeah. So what happened when you got to Wasco like that day? Like when I got to Wasco, what they what we went and they put us in regular dorms, waited to get us in trend like to where they have our paperwork, saying, Okay, here's where you are, you're gonna go. So they just had us in cells. They said, Okay, this is where you're gonna be. You're gonna wait. They told us to run down, here's the program rules. They gave us fucking uh like a slip that says like about COVID safety, all this stuff. And me, I'm thinking like, okay, I'm gonna be in a dorm with people. Like, no, I was alone. <laughs> it was sucked. It sucked. So you it, were alone yeah, the alone whole time. In quarantine. It's like just quarantine because that's when they found out. It was like literally a day, two days after we got there. It's locked down. They locked down the buses. They stopped doing transfers. They stopped doing all that. Like, like there was no way how no, you could go anywhere. No. So, so like I was just in the cell, and then and, and when I started talking to people there, I'm like, hey, so they're opening it back up. Like, yeah, bro. Like they just took some people from here to their prison that they're going to be at. I'm like, all right, cool. So I might see my counselor in three months. But man, once that lockdown happened, they started like really- Three months passed, yeah, six months no, passed? six months. It was fucking bullshit. 
It was bullshit. It was bullshit. You literally didn't do nothing besides do being nothing. yourself. But the cool thing was was store. Store was cheap. Store is cheap. I bought like they opened a bunch of stuff for store. Like like there was a difference here than what I heard what reception was like because I heard reception you can't contact your family for ninety days. You don't get no phone call. But since COVID happened. They're saying that like a lot of dep people were killing themselves in prison like, or in county because they weren't able to talk to their family. Like people, shit was happening. So what they did was they made it for when you go up to Wasco, you're able to talk to your family. They made it a little easier for you to talk to your people. Oh. Yeah. So. So what happened? Like you, you got released from there. I got. No, no. I got called. I, I talked to my counselor. She said, OK, like here's what you here's what you're convicted of. You're going to get out on parole. Um you've done this much time already. She gave me, I, she gave me a bunch of extra time. I'm like, oh shit. Like, it's like, yeah, you're like, you've already been inside. So once you go up there, you get more credits than what you get from the county. Got it, got it. So since I didn't hit my main prison, they were still giving us those credits because we were on lockdown for a long time oh. because they say that. So it worked in your favor, It worked key. in my favor. It worked in my favor because they say that, oh bro, don't count all those credits until you get to your main prison. Don't count Wasco because you have to see your counselor and all this bullshit. They gave us those credits because we were on lockdown. So uh -huh. she told me, okay, so like, here's your expected release date, whoop de whoop. So I'm coming up towards my release date, and he comes with me some paperwork. She says, hey, Orange County has a hold on you. I'm like, what the f Like, she says, yeah, it's for a, a, a assault and battery. Assault and battery. So this is like a, a fight that I had got into, and that they, that it was so we were doing, we were beating somebody up, getting them removed. They were moving somebody. And, uh, they had called me back to court for it. Oh. So they called me back to court for it, and I was nervous. Like, I was nervous as f And, like, what they told me, I, I was just like, hey, what do I do? Like, can I take my stuff with me? They're like, no, just leave your property here. You're going to come back here. You're just going to go. Um, they're going to do a continue. They're going to do a, a fuck. A no, run a concurrent, and you're going to come back. You're going to get released from here. I was like, okay. So I left all my, I had, f well, three years and, and, and no, four, four years, over four years and some change. And having that much, like, mail and, like, pictures, everything that I had, my music, bro, like, I was really, like, I, 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 that was my stuff. So, like I said, hey, you guys make sure that you guys have this, right? So, they sent me back down. I go to Orange County. I'm and waiting. you lost your stuff? Bro, like, I only got my gate money. Like, they were saying, oh, you have to go, you have to go to up, up there to go pick it up. So, like, I've been calling them. And then I asked them, hey, do you guys have my stuff? Like, oh, we don't know where it is. Because of, yeah, of COVID, fuck, everything got fucked. They probably threw the shit out and everything. Yeah, so, like. It was fucked up. I was I was hot. I was hot. I was really mad because like I started doing like daily journals of like how I feel, like just different things like I my music, that. my music, just things that, and also like productive things of my plans, of what I wanted to do when I got out. Um, I made, um, I started like really. My my dad helped me write down the twelve steps of like like the of of for sober for sober mm -hmm. living and stuff. Yeah. Those are some really good steps to live by. Like, no, yeah, they, it's like they true. have they have some good stuff to really to follow through. Like the whole, yeah. the whole one day at a time is really one day at a time. It's really one thing at a time. You you implement that into your daily life, you you can find some success. No, honestly, so, it's true. So, um, yeah, I, I I had got out and I got out in a jumpsuit. I didn't even have no okay, clue. so you got out. I got out from court. From court. From court. From court. So you got out from court. And I, honestly. Man, I went, since I took that prison, I'm like, oh, yeah. I was like, man, I was looking forward to catching that trip back on the bus. Like, I wanted to get this gate money. I was going to fucking, I was going to stop by the liquor store, get me a beer and hop on the bus. Oh, see, well, good thing you didn't because you already <laughs> up right there. <laughs> Why? Okay. Look, this is, this is what I feel. This is my personal opinion. I feel like if you're gonna get out and you're looking forward to buy a beer, you're already no, no, no. I'm not looking forward to buying a beer. I'm not looking forward. That wasn't my main thing. I was I, my main forward was getting home. Obviously, but, but me, I know myself off of like alcohol. I don't really drink like that. Like I'm not a like a crazy. Alcohol. So you just alcohol. wanted to drink to I enjoy. Just to, I, I get it. it. I'm free. Okay, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy a fucking Mike's Hard Lemonade. I don't, you know, hey, don't clown me either because it's a Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> okay, exactly, exactly, exactly. What, 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 what you drink? I like to drink regular beer, like okay. a Michelob Ultra okay. Light. Okay. Yeah. Or like some sparkling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, see it's either it's either that, like, for local, those, those flavored beer types, shit that gets you, or liquor for me. Oh. Or I just don't drink beer. Okay. Well, okay. I get it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I get, I get released. I get released in my jumpsuit. My mom and my dad, while I was in prison, they moved. They they were out here in Cali. So after like they got their house raided and everything, um, 
they wanted to leave California. Like they wanted to get out of here because they feel it's a very democratic state. And they just feel it's going all blue. The prices are going crazy. So um, they, moved they moved. They moved to Florida. I love Florida. They, yeah, they moved to to move to Florida. So um, that was kind of di- new. It was kind of hard. hard not, a little. It was a little hard on me because you didn't have a home. Not just that, but like I didn't have my mom or my dad with me. Like like getting out. And I'm feeling overwhelmed. Like, okay. So, like, I was in a relationship at the time while I, while, when I got busted. Okay. And then it lasted through, like, during prison and went through our little breaks. And then it was still attached when I got out of prison. So, okay. I had somewhere to go. I was So, all, you were going to go with her? So, yeah. Okay. And the, the plan was to be released on parole in Orange County. I, fu- I fucked up on that part because, like, ugh, Orange County parole is fucking assholes. Like, they're really on you. They're really on you. So Because like, a girl was from Orange County. She was from, yeah, she was from okay. South Orange County. So um, from from there, we went through our, right when I got out, she's just thinking, oh, he's going to want to live his life. She was younger than me. She, he's going to want to live, like, like make up for the last time that he went through and go out and, and f*** these bitches. And, and you didn't want no, that? No, no, I didn't want none of that. I didn't want none of that. I literally just wanted to, like, get a stable job, have someone to come home to, just the normal thing, be adjusting to society yeah. and, and pursue my music. I really, like, I fuck, like, before I got busted for this, I was already kind of, like, networking with other people. Like, I knew, um, I knew uh, Swifty Blue before he had blown up off his other stuff. I knew a bunch of artists like that before, back in the days. So, um, I had opened up for King Lo G, um, man, for a bunch of artists, like, at the Observatory Orange County, mm-hmm. Bone Thugs, Bone Thugs too. Nice. Yeah, so... Um, it, it was cool. I had my little taste of being in the scene. So when I got out, I was like, man, you know what? Like, I, I really want to take this seriously. So, um, me and the girl at the same time, like while I was, while I was with her, like it didn't really work out. Like a lot of the tr- trust issues, just, just, it was just hard. Just waited it, didn't, it didn't work. It just didn't work. So, um, and I said I was done, but I wasn't done like clearly so i had to keep going through the motions of like here's what happens when you keep fucking with that fire you're just gonna keep fucking yourself up mm-hmm. like you know like i i i i love hard so when i when i somebody and i'm, I'm stuck on somebody i'm kind of stuck on them and, and, I, and that's that's a bad I, I don't like that i don't like being that vulnerable for somebody so um so like being being an uh, being like an r&b singer and trying to like make my music i really wasn't motivated too much i wasn't motivated like you're stressed yeah i'm stressed you're not, out like what, what, what love the... songs am i gonna write about like when I'm like not being loved, when I'm not being loved. Like I love, but I'm not really feeling my love that I'm supposed to feel. So uh, that shit, that shit didn't, that shit didn't work out. That shit did not work out. Any, anybody out there in a toxic relationship, man, the best thing to do is just Let cut go. your ties. Cut mm-hmm. your ties because you need to realize what you're worth. And and that's when, when um when like me and her were taking our breaks. That's when I started hanging around with my people more. Like going out with Swifty and like just different people. So just networking. I considered it networking, going out opportunities. Like like I like I like being in place. I like being being places. Like, I, get I, it. I, I don't I don't make I don't go out and like oh I need what's up can I take a picture? I'm not like that. I just like being in good places. And if somebody says hey homie can sing, fucking sing, sing. for me homie. Oh shit you get down homie come on the studio. So that's how my networking game worked. And that's how it fit me in. So eventually that led up to like some viral videos to uh that went up on on full community that led up for uh self to tap in onto my page. And when he tapped in like I was in disbelief. Like I was I was tripping out. I was like what the hell? Like for real? So that's what you're doing now. That's what I'm doing now. Okay. That's what you I'm doing. You just focus on your music. Focus on my music. Are you working and stuff I, like that? Yeah, I'm. I'm right now. I'm, I just got. I'm in a stable spot right now, so um, I'm li- looking for a stable job right now. A good, a good job because like, I don't, I don't want, I don't like, I like warehouse work and shit gets the job done, but I would like to get into like some solar panel. I was doing solar panel. Okay. But my pro officer from Orange County got me fired. Okay. So. Okay. I get it. So, so I'm, I'm just trying to make trying to make it work. You're just really finding yourself still. You're but, get, I but get it. But I I know now that. That the pressures of life of everything that I'm going through is just gonna make me even more. Yeah. Like it just makes just me makes life. me even want it pa- more even more passionately. Like the things that I want are <laughs> like just just to have, have be stable. Like that's literally what I want. So like going through the things of prison, like not having my mom or dad here, like not really having my family out here. Like my all my brothers they live in different states now too. So I don't my my only brother out here stays in Santa Monica. So. Um, 
yeah, so I'm just really trying to make it work. Really just trying, trying to... Yeah, you, you'll be fine. You just got to continue yeah. to stay focused, Hell yes. Yeah. So what's oh. the craziest COVID-related stuff you saw? Oh, craziest COVID-related shit that I saw was just... Um, people were dying. People were dying in there. Really? Yeah, people were, people were still dying in there. Like it so was, it was a real thing. Yeah, people, we, I didn't see somebody die like them leave their body or anything. But I saw the person who it was, and they were sick. They were a couple cells. They were all in quarantine. <gasps> we're all in quarantine. He somehow caught, got his sickness somewhere, and he's staying in his cell, and he ended up dying. Like, and it, yeah, it was sad. Uh, it was crazy. That's that, that's super crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, and I was just tripping out because like I I never caught COVID. I was like, man, like it's crazy to hear how all this shit's going on out there, and it's even affecting in here, but like. It doesn't feel any different. Just I'm just seeing it around me. Wow. Well, you were super blessed. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure, super blessed. Oh, you yeah. still haven't caught it. No. I got that bitch like three times already. For real? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> Did you catch it too? <laughs> you got COVID? You're about to too. Fuck. I know. COVID, the COVID party, though. No? We're actually already got over our sickness, but um, wow, that's it. That's pretty intense. Yeah. So so like me, um. I never, my, my mom told me, like, keep your, 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 walk, well, she said, drink water and walk slow. Drink a lot of water and walk slow. She said, you're going to just, while you sit in county and everything you learn, drink a lot of water, walk slow. And it's a deeper meaning than that. Is take an observance of, like, what's going on around you and drink a lot of water. Is soaking up the game around you, soaking up everything that you're going through and walk slow. Tread carefully. So, yeah. so like, that. That being right there is just like it, it really sunk in with me. It's just like wherever you go, like just you always got to be observant. Like, yes, yeah, so for sure, yeah. So like, it, it, I I I minded my my own business because like that's the like thing the thing that happened at the show when when you were trying to get get, get the crowd control, people were freaking had their phones out everything right there. I'm like, damn, mind your own. You said mind your own, or you, people are gonna go back to man. If people were doing that in the county, be taken back to the wall. Mind mind your own business. That's yeah. what it is. If you don't mind your own, you're gonna be next on that wall. Yeah. So like, it, it's just crazy on what this what you know, the way it is. Some people don't. So tell us. Well, sing a little. Do a little sing a little song for us before okay. we we before we finish. <clears throat> All right. I've just been craving you lately Your conversations are all that I need Make no mistakes with you, baby My only lady I swear my love is true And see, I know you've been hurt Countless times wasted, but I know what you're worth. You know I'm not playing. Sweat it into smile, I paint the picture. When I go to sleep, I'm dreaming about you. Not a single thing I wouldn't do. Tell me what you need, and girl, I got you. Yes, that's cute. <laughs> that yes. right there is that's conversations off my 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 new EP I just dropped. Oh, um, nice. Yes, yeah, new beginnings. Um, y'all need to go stream that because I got I have a, a bunch of homies that say they for New Year's they drove to Vegas they're banging it with Shardy they're banging my whole tape with Shardy nice, like bro I'm gonna nice. put you on so child support if my girl comes up pregnant from Vegas. <laughs> so I'm just like <laughs> that's good yeah. that's good well is there anything else that you want to share that you haven't shared um anything else you want to ask me this is your show this is your no, show I'm, oh. I'm good I, I mean you I mean, know you already did your time we're yeah, out we're I out did, i did my time I, all I'm, good. Doing, all, I'm off parole that's a, that's an update i'm that, off parole which is amazing I'm amazing i'm just fighting this case and that's it fighting this case yeah i'm just yeah i mean that's yeah, it I, I'm just, that's it i mean i hope i'm I, i'm hoping for the best i'm really hoping for the best because I mean, like, that's all we could really hope for yeah no for sure because like it was a accident it was an accident it was literally an accident that happened. Like it could happen to anybody. Yeah. Like you can literally be driving. Can you explain? No. no I didn't what explain case it. are you? Fi what case are you fighting? <laughs> All right. So, um, so well, I don't know if you want. I don't know if you should talk about well, it. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disclose too much information. It, it can happen. It, it was an accident. It can happen to anybody. I'm driving on the five freeway, and um, I'm driving, and there's a bit, bit of a traffic, so I'm gonna be getting off my exit soon, and I have my blinker on, and this. And is, um, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram.